Hey everybody. In today's quick video, I'm just going to show you my new permanent markers. I know that doesn't seem super exciting, but it really, really is. I use these quite a bit and I wanted to show them to you. I left my overspray here on my mat from a previous video because I thought it was pretty. This is my blog calendar that I use to keep track of all of my blog assignments. I stamp this image from Hero Arts on the front and back of a piece of cardstock and then I laminated it. So I always have a view for two months. And I normally just write on it with Sharpies, blue for the assignment and red for when it's done. And I also use Sharpies for my watercolor splits. But then I found the Zebra Extra Heavy Duty Permanent Markers. They are incredible and I'm in love with them. I have them in several different colors and I'm now switching over to these. I wanted to show you the difference in the point. You can see that the point is very fine on the zebra marker. It's also a very heavy marker with a stainless steel exterior. And you can see here how thick the Sharpie print is and how skinny that green one is because I actually use the zebra for that. So I can get a lot more information on there. I'll show you the difference between the two line points just so you can see. The zebra tip appears to be a little bit less than half of the thickness of the Sharpie tip. So it's great for my calendar. It does come in multiple colors so I can use the same colors again. And it says that you can leave the cap off like forever and they won't dry out. When I'm doing my watercolor splits, that's really important because I'm numbering dozens and dozens of pans and I do have the cap off for a long time. And here's just my system. I write the assignment in blue and I write done in red so I know what's done. And then I put other things like announcing giveaway winners in green so that those stand out. Oh, hi, Maddie. So I just wanted to share those with you today. Thanks so much for watching.